Fr. Jim Blunt, a humble servant of God known for her deep connection to the divine, shared a powerful and urgent message that shook the hearts of those who heard it. He spoke of a vision, a revelation that opened a window into the terrifying fate of one great soul who had lived in luxury and power, but now faced an eternity in hell. This soul belonged to a queen, a figure admired and respected by many during his life, but whose actions led her to a dark, irreversible fate. Fr. Jim Blunt described how, despite the queen's noble status and the reverence she received on earth, her choices ultimately sealed her destiny in the afterlife. In life, she had been surrounded by wealth, praise, and influence, but these things blinded her to the truths of the soul. She had allowed pride, greed, and selfishness to overtake her heart, ignoring the cries of the poor and the needs of her people. She sought power and admiration instead of humility and service, and in doing so, she turned away from God's path. In her vision, Fr. Jim Blunt saw the Queen's soul after death, stripped of all the earthly titles, wealth, and beauty she once had. She was no longer a queen in the eyes of heaven, but just another lost soul trapped in the depths of hell. The darkness was overwhelming, and the queen's regret was palpable. She understood far too late that the choices she made on earth had led her to this place of eternal suffering. There was no crown to wear, no throne to sit on, only endless torment for the prideful decisions she had made. Through this revelation, Fr. Jim Blunt brought a chilling reminder to the world about the reality of hell. It is not reserved only for those we consider wicked or evil, but for anyone who chooses to turn their back on God's love and mercy. Even those with great power, influence, and admiration, like the Queen, are not exempt from the consequences of their actions. The message was clear, no one is beyond judgment, and the decisions we make in life shape our eternal fate. Fr. Jim Blunt's vision served as a wake-up call for humanity, urging everyone to reflect on their lives, their hearts, and the paths they are walking. It's a reminder that no amount of wealth, power, or status can protect someone from the consequences of living a life disconnected from love, kindness, and faith. In the end, it is our hearts and souls that matter, not the crowns we wear or the admiration we seek. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Once there was a queen whose beauty and power were known across all the lands. Her name echoed in the palaces of kings and the homes of the humble. She ruled with elegance, wearing her crown with pride, but beneath the grace was a heart filled with ambition, greed, and pride. She loved power more than anything, and over time, she forgot about the needs of her people. She forgot about kindness, mercy, and God. Her riches grew, and her influence spread, but her soul became empty, turning further away from the light. When the queen passed away, she expected to be remembered as one of the greatest rulers to ever live, but the afterlife had a different fate in store for her. Instead of the golden gates of heaven she had imagined, the queen found herself descending into the depths of hell. The beautiful jewels and luxurious robes she wore in life were stripped away, and her royal title meant nothing there. What greeted her was darkness, fire, and an eternity of suffering. But even in hell, the queen was not like the other souls. Something in her spirit had not broken completely. She walked among the tortured souls, but there was something strange about her presence, something that made the other damned spirits pause and watch her with fear and curiosity. While most souls screamed, begged, and wept in agony, the queen remained eerily calm. She didn't scream or cry like the others. 
She wandered the fiery plains of hell, staring straight ahead, her once bright eyes are now hollow but still filled with a strange sense of control. What was most strange was what she began to do. The queen started to build something in hell. Among the ashes and flames, she began gathering broken stones, fragments of burnt wood, and anything she could find. The other souls were too consumed with their pain to understand what she was doing. She spent years, centuries perhaps, constructing something in the depths of hell, never stopping, never speaking a word. One day, as the demons and souls of the damned watched in silence, the queen's strange creation became clear. She had built a throne, a twisted, dark version of the one she had sat upon in life. It was made from the ruins of her sins, each stone representing a moment when she had chosen greed, pride, or cruelty over love and mercy. The throne stood tall in the heart of hell, and without hesitation, the queen sat upon it as if reclaiming her lost power. But this throne was not a place of honor. The moment she sat upon it, the ground beneath her shook, and flames rose higher than ever before. The queen's body was consumed by the fire, but she did not move. She stayed seated, unmoving, as the fire burned through her soul, tormenting her more than anything she had ever felt. Yet, she refused to leave her throne. The pride that had defined her in life had followed her into death, and even in hell, she could not let go of the power she had once wielded. The demons, intrigued by her defiance, circled her throne, whispering her name in the dark. They did not understand why she would choose more suffering by building the throne, but the queen, in her pride, saw it as a twisted form of victory. She believed that if she could not rule in heaven, she would rule in hell. But what she didn't realize was that this throne would be her prison. By building it, she had sealed her fate. The fires that consumed her would never stop, and the weight of the throne would crush her spirit more and more as time passed. She had built her eternal torment, and yet she could not let it go. The other souls watched her in silent horror, knowing that while their suffering would continue, the queen's punishment was something far more terrible, a suffering born from her pride. And so, the great queen remained in hell, sitting on her throne of sin, trapped by her arrogance. She had once ruled with power and majesty, but in death, she had become a queen of nothing, a ruler of her endless torment. The flames of hell licked at her skin, but she sat tall, as if still wearing her crown, never realizing that the true power she had once sought was not in control or wealth, but in humility and grace two things she had cast aside long ago. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.